Okay, so for the first step here, we're going to want to, inside of our Airtable pipeline, we're going to want to go and create a new view. So let's set this to negotiation and we're going to want to set a new uh, grid view for contract sent. And then we're going to want to filter by where the sales stage is contract. Okay. Next, let's go over to Pandadoc. And Pandadoc is a great way to be able to create custom, um, custom documents like quotes or proposals and then to infill that and you can use the API to infill that and create documents based on your CMS items for instance or a new form. So there's two versions of Pandadoc, there's a V1 and a V2. Uh, the V2 integration with Zapier is going to be coming out um, hopefully by the end of this year. Um, so you, if you want to use this you may have to roll, roll it back to V1 by just messaging Pandadoc. Um, if you log in here you've got a dashboard which shows you all the stages that your contracts or proposals are at and then you've got documents so list all your documents and then down here you've got templates so we're going to want to create a new template and what we're going to do is you have two options you could either create something from scratch um, so you can create a brand new template inside of Pandadoc using these drag and drop editors so heading text image really easily customizable it's a pretty good builder or what we're going to do instead is upload one we already have because I presume most um, salespeople or um, accounting teams will have documents already drafted so let's go ahead and upload a template okay once it's uploaded I'm just going to give it another name so I don't get confused and okay, we've got some like info in here which is never going to change. Um, but to customize this, we're going to want to pull in some data from Airtable. And the way we do this is by creating some text fields. Um, and then we can use this, we can use the Pandadoc API to infill these when the document gets created. So now go ahead and grab a couple of text fields and then drag them under here or wherever you want them. You can have the title as the contact name and this one is going to be the same. These are going to be the same because the API uses this name field to pull the field in to Zapier to let you change it. And this is going to be the company name. And again, copy this down into the name. Then we're going to scroll down to the bottom of this particular lock. Obviously, it might vary on the dock you're using. Um, and we're going to have a text field here. This is going to be company name. And then this one is going to be the same. Then we're going to have a signature because we want to get this signed. This is going to be client signature. Or company signature, client signature. And then we're going to need to assign this. So we need to know who's going to sign this. This tells Pandadoc um, who to send it to. So add a role, I'm going to call it client. Press add. Cool. So now it knows that the client has to sign this one. And then another text field at the bottom. And that's going to be contact name. Contact name as well. Remove that. Perfect. Cool. So anything you change within Pandadoc will be saved automatically, so you don't have to save it. So if you now go back into templates, it should be saved here. Um, and now we can then use that for our next part, which is going to be our zap. Yeah.